Now, uh, Asa Goha is an England women's cricketer. You wouldn't get anything like you found at the old firm game in the week in cricket, and you certainly wouldn't get it in women's cricket. But not only is Isa an England women's cricketer, she is the ambassador for the British Asian Sports Awards, which are coming up tomorrow. So we better hear about them. Isha, welcome to the show. I hope we're not keeping you up too late, you being a sportswoman and all. No, no, you're fine. I'm, I'm here and I'm awake. So, excellent, um, <laughs> excellent. It's a big day for you tomorrow. Tell us about these awards, where they are, who's in the running. Okay, um, the British Asian Sports Awards is being held tomorrow night at the Grosvenor Hotel in London. And um, there are various different awards, including Young Sports Person of the Year, um, there's a Main Sports Personality of the Year, Coach of the Year, um, and a coaching organization of the year as well um and you know it's a big event you know lots of people come to it and i've been attending for the last three or four years and it's just a great opportunity really to to recognize british asians in sport um what is the state of british asian sport well i think it's definitely improving i mean i know for a fact that the the number of um, South Asian women actually participating in sport in this country is um, less than uh, 10 percent. So it, it is than, getting better. It less is, than less 10 percent of of South Asian women are in sport. Yeah, that's right in this country. And so, yeah. how does um, that compare? It, how does that compare with other communities? Well, with the Afro Caribbean community, for example. Well, I'm not too sure on the fact. I see. I would have thought. I would have thought it was more. Better. Yeah. Um, I think you know Afro Caribbeans. You know, are, there are a lot involved in athletics. Um, yeah. I don't know the actual facts and figures, but I know that it is improving, and events like this certainly help um, in terms of encouraging more people, more British Asians, to get involved in sport. And what sort of sponsorship uh, does British Asian sport have? I mean, there's a lot of people in business from your community. Do they stump up with the kind of sponsorship that's needed? Or if not, where do you get your funding? Definitely. I mean, I know this event is being sponsored by Labara, and um, the British Asian Trust also have some involvement as well. Um, now, they get a lot of their sort of funding through companies, um, corporate companies in London, whether it be Deutsche Bank or... Um, people like John Lewis and then you've got and then you get um, companies from across the world in India who actually support um, support these events now is there any difference between the different strands of the British Asian community are Indians more prominent in some sports Pakistanis Bengalis Sri Lankans and so on um, are, are, is, there, is there any discernible pattern um, I don't really notice that. I mean, I think generally across Asians um, in particular, their main main sort of sport is cricket. Um, and then in terms of the different strands, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that any sort of channel their way um, into different sports in particular. Um, I definitely say that cricket is the number one sport, and then you'll see a variety of them playing football um, and getting into into other sports as well. Now, tell me this, because we are discussing uh, elsewhere in the show the the hatreds uh, in Glasgow and indeed in Scotland uh, between Celtic and Rangers support are based on ethnicity uh, um, and a schism within the same church, the same religion. Do you discern any such uh, issues in amongst uh, South Asian, British South Asians in the sporting world? Um, I think there's always been a lot of rivalry between British Indians and British Pakistan. Um, you know, I think I think it's like any any sort of culture. You know, once you get on the pitch, it's all about you know being competitive and you know wanting to win against the other team. For example, England have always um, won Australia. Um, you know, it just happens in sport. But then as soon as you get off the pitch, um, everyone's really friendly because you know you're playing a game that that both people love. So um, yeah. I, I haven't noticed it as so much in this country. Very interesting. Thanks, Isha. Isha Guha, Ambassador for British Asian Sports. The very best of luck for the Asian Sports Awards tomorrow night in the Grosvenor Hotel. Uh, let's take another couple of texts.